Hi and welcome everyone. So today we're going to be going over a video request and this request comes in from Luis. Luis says, can you do a video on Outlook because I would like to learn more on the email based application since many people use it. Okay, good deal. So I'm going to cover Microsoft Outlook today. Now it's a pretty big program and it can't be covered in a five minute video, but I'm going to go over the basics and what you'll use Outlook for as well as uh, when you'll see Outlook um, in the workplace. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's my display. It's open right now, and I opened up to Outlook. Okay, so whenever you have Outlook uh, open, it's go or whenever you open Outlook, it's going to ask you to set up a password unless you change those settings, uh, and to connect to your email address. So you'll notice that uh, not every Outlook is connected to an Outlook Outlook.com email. Rather, it's connected in most cases to work emails. So um, it's set up as a web application as well as a full uh, desktop application. And so I have the desktop application open here. Um, and you could check to see if you have Outlook on your computer by pressing the Windows key and then typing in Outlook and you'll see the desktop application should appear right there. Uh, you might have 2016 or an earlier version, but here's how Outlook uh, looks. And so you'll notice that there are a lot of similarities between Microsoft Outlook and the Microsoft Office Suite. You could see that uh, along the top, it has your uh, different tabs here. And you'll notice that even the file tab takes you into the backstage view where you could print, export, and change your options and settings. And then you have a home tab, send and receive tab, folder tab, and view tab. I'm gonna cover a few of the buttons uh, and groups within these uh, different tabs as well as the main layout in just a second. All right, so in this uh, home tab here, you can create emails, you can delete or archive emails, archive email, archiving emails is basically moving them into uh, long-term storage folders. And then uh, you can clean up your emails and you could actually also mark some items as junk. So uh, over here, you'll see that you could respond to emails if you have a current email selected and you can do a lot of other things uh, in this menu. And then right here, we see that you can move emails around ta and also uh, tag for follow-up. So if you have an important email that you wanna look at uh, later and use at a later time, right there, you could use follow-up. Uh, you can filter your, your email to search out certain items or messages and different uh, things that you might be interested to find while you're using Microsoft Outlook. And so that kind of takes us through this home menu. In send and receive, that's exactly it. You're mostly sending and receiving uh, different documents and uh, items. And then in here is folder tab. And the folder tab allows you to basically create different folders and organize your email, okay? So a lot of people probably need to organize their emails so that they could actually find what they're doing. So folders are a great way to do that. You could just create a new folder and it'll appear right along this pane down here. So uh, set up kind of the same way as your Windows Explore page. Uh, and so you could kind of organize all your emails in that same type of uh, fashion. Finally, in the view area, you could change your view uh, right here to compact or single view. Um, and you can also preview that to see what that'll actually look like. And then throughout here, you can work with uh, your different items that you want to see and the way that they're arranged. And so those are the most, most of the buttons that you're going to be using in Microsoft Outlook. So along this left side here, is your pane. So if you have multiple emails set up, you'll see them all listed here, along with your inbox, which is your incoming emails, your drafts, which are emails that you started and you haven't completed yet, your sent items, which are items that you've sent over uh, via email, your deleted items, so anything that you've deleted, uh, you can empty that out once you actually click on deleted items uh, so that they're gone forever. And then uh, right here is junk email, where you can basically set up certain emails that uh, come through to go straight to your junk folder. Um, all right, and then Outbox is basically emails that have gone out, but they haven't actually been sent yet. So just keep an eye on those as well. 
All right, in addition to that, you could also set up your favorites up here, and I'm gonna show you how an email works. So I closed all these panes just because I, I know that I've already gone through everything, so I don't really need to see what's open here. But today I sent myself a test email, so it's right here. Um, it'll tell you where it's coming from, so I sent it from my Instructor A. Morgan account. I could click right there to open up the email. It just says, please see the attached email. It's just a test email. But I wanted to show you the main mistakes that people make when they send emails, and it's uh, uh, mistakes that can be made very, very easily. So right here, whenever we click on an email, notice that over here, this little um, paper clip means that there's an attachment in that email. Right here is where you can flag it for follow-up. It's a shortcut. That way you could go back to view that. And again, you could just look at your follow-up follow emails right over here or set the follow-up right up there. And then it says the Im image uh, subject, or sorry, the email subject and also the email text. So right here, is the area where it'll show the actual email. So you can see who was in the email, who was uh, added to the email um, and included on it. So that are, that's the CC. And then um, you could also see the attachment here and the text down here. If the person has a profile picture, it'll show up right there. Now, here's something that's very, very important to remember. When you reply to an email, you reply to the one person that sent you that original email. When you reply all, you reply to every single person that was included in the CC section of that email, okay? When you forward the email, that's completely taking your email and moving it to or forwarding it to someone completely different. So most of the time when you forward an email, it's basically sending a copy of that to somebody else, okay? So those are the main differences between reply, reply all, and forward. Now, if I go right here to reply, you can see it sends it straight to the reply. It's going to uh, basically show me two, or I could send right now, I could send it to, I could add people in right here, which is the CC, and then uh, right here is the subject line. Okay, so I'm going to discard that right now, just so uh, I don't have to do that. If I hit reply all, look at the difference. Right here we have the person that sent it to you, as well as the copied people. All right, so take a look there, see the difference between the two. And then finally, forward. When you forward something, it has an empty blank two and a blank CC. That way you could send it to somebody completely new, okay? All right, in addition to that, composing new emails is pretty easy. You go right up here to the home tab, the new group, and you click new email. And what's gonna happen is a pop-up will appear right here and you can basically send your emails right here. Now, um, the two goes directly to the person. The CC is are the people that are copied in, okay? You can paste different things. You can go into your address book and uh, add people to your address book and copy people into your emails. Um, right here, you can attach files. And then um, over here, you can you know, say if it's a high importance email, add your signature, things like that. I could get into all these things, but again, I'm trying to keep this video uh, basically pretty light and easy to go. Um, and then right here in the insert tab, calendar invites, adding your business card to an email, uh, different options like that. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you in this, because I think it's very important, is the BCC right here. That's in the options area in the show fields group. BCC, if I click that, notice BCC pops up right here. If I were to send out a mass email to um, a lot of different people that maybe I didn't want them to know each other's emails, then I would use the BCC because that's what's called a blind copy. So when you blind copy someone, you really can't see who else was included in that email. Okay. Other than that, you could format text. This looks a lot like uh, Microsoft Word or Excel if you've used those programs. And so it all looks pretty good, you know, a pretty clean layout. When you're ready to send your email, you just click send. So that's about it. That's how to, uh, you know, that's the, the brief overview of Microsoft Outlook. So I hope that helps kind of answer your questions. Again, um, if you're used to using Microsoft Office, Outlook is going to be no problem for you to just hop right in and get working.
working on it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Take a time to uh, look at my Microsoft Word videos, Excel videos, and I'll be making access videos next week. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and if you have a video request, you see I actually do them. So just uh, put the request in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.